You know, Ryan, these Transformers, they're pretty cool. But wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if, like, they were in, like, some kind of, like, movie or something? That'd be shite. Well, lucky for you, you fucking cunt. Lucky for you, I made a Transformers 1 bingo so we can go see the movie. I love bingo! Shut up. Aww. We can go see the movie and, and, and play a, and a fun game! Do I didn't like that take. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. Oh! <laughs> My <laughs> choice! <laughs> you just destroyed him. You just don't care, do you? Does anybody else miss Goonie to pay for his Transformers? Ryan, look! It's Ironhide! <laughs> ah, fly landed me! Oh, hello. Oh, hello, kitty! Oh. Oh. Bye bye, wee guy. We gotta go see Transformers 1, little guy. See you. See you. Oh, don't do that. It's the fucking Hennessy bus. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Ronnie <laughs> Hennessy. Stop it. Stop. See that one? He's the bad guy. Uh, that's a good guy. That's a good day. That's a bad day. That's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's already got a moustache. Oh, oh. It's just like five years old. Yeah. You know what, um, I never actually tell him this just because it, it pays the bills, but I fucking hate Transformers. Hey, look at me, look at me. I, I need to get this out of my chair. I fucking hate it. They're all fucking stupid bastards. They just, they just watch shit by crap. Are you recording this? Looks like it's not always fun and games trying to see Transformers 1. A few fans have followed me here, and I've got some autographs to sign. Two hours. Yeah, okay, first of all, we stole these posters in this balloon. The last one's out there. Yippee. Just, we just might, might be Kino. It might be, be Kino. Might be Cinema. Yeah. See, the thing is, is why we're transforming? Why we're Optimus and Megatron? That's not the yeah, idea. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be the good. Yeah, uh, they're fucking stupid, bro. They don't get the I, fucking that movie. Be don't get the fucking movie, bro. I, I, I don't get it. Don't uh, get it bro. It's a bit weird that the uh, <laughs> this emblem that's going to be known for generations as. You know, genocide, you know, genocide, uh, evil torture is, 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 is going to be associated with a children's sticker. Uh, that, yeah, he, he, he was having a bit of a man child moment there with the sticker. I, that caught me off guard. Stuff, yeah. stuff like, uh, it was a bit of a man child. Stuff like, oh, Ryan, you don't have the touch, you don't have the power. That that gave me the heebie jeebies, I right? Even, that I'm not going to even. <laughs> that gave me the heebie jeebies. I was worried it would be a bit stinky, <laughs> but, um, that kind of passed by me. I didn't hear that line. It was like it was blocked out. My yeah, I sighed out loud when I heard that. Did you? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm all oh. cynical, right? Um, oh, power radical. I think, Ryan, uh -huh. tell me how you feel about this. Oh, Ryan, huh? Um, I feel like that's a really good movie, right? It's it's a very. Everything has a place in that movie. It's not as dense as I'd like. It's not as like. Dense yeah, Bron didn't speak. Yeah, Bron didn't speak. Bron didn't speak. There's no gears. No there gears. No, no gears. gears. No gears. Uh, I did like hearing, was it Mirage? No, it's not Mirage, Blur. <laughs> Fucking who was it? Was it Mirage mocking the camera going, ah, ah, ah. There's a lot of good. enough jump scare moments of yeah. people just going, ah, the That was cool. Um, the, the Alpha Tron had like a pit bull, the princess. No, princess <laughs> to pit bull. Dude, fucking Optimus ripping people in half. <laughs> that it. was such a good scene. He did it so much though, it's like his thing, bro. Uh, but I, I want to say, right, to me, to me that is a, maybe, Seven, eight out of ten movie. I'd say it's eight. But with a sequence at the end, it's ten out of ten. Yeah, and that has me conflicted because I think it's a very nice movie. Some faults, you know. Uh, some more. I, th I don't think it's good, as good as people said. There were some like parts where you were just kind of like rolling your eyes that were obviously like them going, ha ha. Oh, okay. he did the pose, Joy. Guys, 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 if he did the pose, he did the pose. Ha! But, um. I didn't mind that. I like that. I don't, I, I, I'm I mean, tired of it. I love it. Just made me go, ha ha. Ah, he yeah. did the thing. Ah, yeah, just... ah, okay, next part. Ah, he did the thing. That's not going to make me. I, I feel like, right, <laughs> Cobain, 
Um, yeah, we got the we got the Optimus Prime balloon, bro. Stole it. But it's, it's, the, the, the fuck fucking on. sequence at the end with uh, well, Optimus, the the you know the, the, this movie has a lot of parallels, right? Uh, I know film class uh, first first day here, by the way. But just <laughs> the, the final parallel at the end. Oof. The buff of Megatron, the, the buff of Optimus Prime, right? <laughs> I did find that a bit stupid that his eyes turned red <laughs> when he went. That is so cool, he has a little after effect. No, but like, again, you could have shown it without going, oh, he's ready for his evil. Red is cool, right? No, but like, they did it, obviously, his eyes turned red because he's evil now. <laughs> he's you could have just had it, you could have just had it as he's, <laughs> he says it, because I think once I see him like, drop Optimus into a hole, I'm going to think, yeah, he's a baddie now, I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I like how that once they both became like vehicles, they both gained a jawline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they started fucking morgan. <laughs> no, did you not see it? I was just pointing to you. One of the pri- one of the primes, I forgot his name, he literally had this face jack. Did he? Yeah. It was the one that was calling like Sentinel Prime a pussy. Oh uh, I can't they all blur together the one for me. At the end, he was like lying on the floor going, <laughs> is, it, is it a prime? Yeah, because his face is just a constant. <laughs> Zeta Prime's a weird character, that's all I'm gonna say. So because the thing is a lot of it, because I'm obviously I'm not the biggest Transformer fan, you know? In the start of the shadows. Oh my god, Jack, we've been detected. Oh, what is it? Fucking be- What are those devices? I don't know. It just scares me. Um, but like, I'm not the biggest Transformers fan, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, you hate it. To, I kind of come It's off. cool to hate Transformers. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's for stupid babies. Yeah, stupid idiot the, babies. Stupid idiot babies. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 I want to say, did yes. Dark, see Darkwing hit the fucking epic uh, gambling machine? <laughs> did he die? What happened? Did he just get into the, the dark? The Darkwing fucking die. Because I think I imagine they would go Megatron and go, "This is for this is me." I'm yeah, I imagine he would just mangle him or something at the end. But uh, he, he he just gets hit by oh, he a really cool gambling machine where it's, that I want to gamble on. Is Sentinel Prime always a bad guy? Or I thought like Sentinel Prime and Zeta Prime were the same guy. There's a few yeah, things I didn't. Yeah, because I was like, is this a new thing for the movie? Or just, being He's always of, been a bit of a nasty character. I was always like, I was like, yeah, I noticed because he sounded like Homelander half the time. <laughs> um, uh, but it was like kind of like this moment of um, I was like listening. I was like, should I understand this? Like, just gonna be like, ha ha. Yeah. Ah. yeah I, I get what you mean. Like sometimes you're like, I feel a bit uh, left out in the kind of joke here. Well, I felt like I was like, am I one of those fucking fuck off fans? Or like, like people are like, oh, I get that. And I'm like, what's that? Who's that, that man? Who's that? that? That's Ton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were saying that. I was like, is that Ton? Well, and that's a genuine question. Yeah, that's I a like genuinely good, like, decent thing, is, thing to bring up. The thing is, I'm thinking, when I think of the big Decepticon mask, and I'm told, I'm thinking, oh, that's Torn, because you've told me yeah. about him. So when I see some of the Decepticon head on him, I think Torn. It's crossed and the wires. I was thinking, is this like a different character, or is this someone like, who's known the Transformers thing, or is this like, yeah. by the way, this is not like a creepy against the film. That's a good thing. It's made for no, I, I think it's, you, I, I think it's good to... to I think it's good to just view the film on its own without yeah. thinking any kind of outside influence. Because I'm not expecting them to go, this is Braun, he's peak. This is, he's, he has peak And this though. is Sentinel Prime, he's the big guy. Read these comics down. I'm not, I don't want them to do that. Obviously, I prefer yeah. if people who like the film, like you, like you like Transformers, go, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's Glob Show number 44227. <laughs> I, uh, I've noticed you, man, um, I came for this movie for the Optimus and Megatron stuff. Oh, and, uh, yeah, the kiss that I went. Yeah, that was really cool. And obviously it paid off when I'm talking about that 10 out of 10 scene. Birth of Optimus, Birth of Megatron, etc, etc, right? That, that, mean, that means something to me. It also makes sense on like, why Optimus doesn't just kill him then and there. Because of, like, <laughs> we heard him! You know, because of like this whole, like, well, he used to kind of be my friend, which is a smart idea to do the whole, why isn't the bad guy We were brothers him. once. We were boyfriends once. We kissed in the moonlight one time. It was great. Nope. Skywarp line. Skywarp And it's Kino. And it's Peak. Shockwave went, ah! Shockwave, uh, I feel like there's much potential there. He's just kind of there. I'm a bit annoyed that they just suddenly shift Starscream. Because I like Starscream a lot, right? Uh-huh. And I do like sometimes where he's a little bit of a pussy and a coward. But I also like him when he shows like he's actually like a threat. Yeah, yeah, the guy, the like you always say, he's got 250 cows in his wrist. Yeah, because the thing is, he's shown as a threat at the start. But then once Megatron gets him, because he's like going like, hurt me, hurt me, which is kind of a thing. Of <laughs> yeah, because he's doing that shit, Dead right? animal blood and ditto. Like, he's doing that shit, and then he just instantly caves when he pulls up the thing, like. I know, I, I get how it is, right? I, I Like, for the plot and everything, it's like, Megatron, he needs an army of cunts who are convinced Shut that this... Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need an army of cunts who are like, 
convinced by the whole might is right thing mm. and maybe that makes him maybe more of a parallel speaking of parallels more of a parallel to central than he thinks they did it with the military force you know like the big oh because they are military guys in g1 yeah they're made for the like, uh, exactly they're less well it makes sense because like oh how would they fight back well Autobot, like the Autobots have more numbers, but like the Autobots are a bunch of working exactly, class dudes, and the Decepticons yeah, are like military fighters. Yeah, they're not exactly trained, which would make sense, and which is quite ironic because before Decepticons outnumbered Autobots, was well, it on, on Earth? I mean, so. uh, well, maybe that could change in a sequel. Ooh, you know what they didn't touch on at the end though. What's Those that? Alien dudes. Yeah, they just it's like of them, bro. it's like Quintessons were coming to kick your ass. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 they just went back to like. No, I, I understand the Quintessons are there for the whole conflict with Central Prime. No, I mean, at the end though, because like Megatron just goes back, like we need to be worried about getting. They're just, setting up for a sequel. You know how it bombed. is these days. He's gonna get carpet bombed. He is, but he will survive because he's he's Megatron. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah. uh, one thing I really want to say, right? Uh huh. Like I'm saying about my little bitch, you can point out how the movie could be denser, right? Mm -hmm. Sentinel Prime, there's a, there's a lot to kind of wonder about this movie, right? Yeah. Because Cybertron, it has like natural fauna in it, right? Yeah. That's well, that's the thing, I didn't know, I didn't... I, but like, and I think, oh, well, Cybertron must have been some organic world, they got like fucking terraformed or some shit, mm -hmm. right? But Prime, it's like there's some kind of creation myth of Primus, and how he's like the very centre of the world, mm. uh, which kind of implies... He he just grows natural like vegetation and plant life. Fox, yeah, oh, fox, 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 fox. Oh, it's gone, oh. oh we just killing this. myself. Um, to be fair, there was like I was a bit confused. Like soon they said surface world. I thought yeah. oh, it was like there are world below Cybertron and Cybertron's the whole yeah like metal there's like place big towers and top and shit. But like it's like the same kind of planet and I was like what because uh -huh. because you see Optimus die from the kind of grass areas, unless mm -hmm. I'm missing it into the city. No, um, I, I do want to say, right, mm -hmm. This it kind of makes sense because like in G1, with the, all this kind of reference art of Cybertron, mm -hmm. all of the, the kind of inner cities, a lot of that original Cybertron art, a lot of the stuff that they still do to this day, mm -hmm. talking about reference material and inspiration, yeah. uh, a ton of that. Oh, there's the police going by. Fuck, fuck, man. Oh, we stole the cinema, man. We stole the fucking balloons in the cinema, man. <laughs> Well, that stuff shows the kind of inner glow. The surface is kind of like just grey and shit. But like the actual Cybertron, yeah. the inside is where like something's happening, right? Yeah. It, it's it's just it's a drawing of a sci-fi planet, right? Question. Huh? It's unrelated. See the deer? Yeah. Do you think if a transferable car like was driving, do you think they'd just stand there and get hit? I yeah, I think that's a deer in the head. Like the the, the little lights in their head would turn red and they get fucking flattened by Megatron. <laughs> that that's a deleted scene. <laughs> That's a really cool delete scene. I couldn't scene. really tell if it was the same kind of planet, if you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, there, there's a notable difference, and... Uh, there's a lot to be imagined as well. It's, yeah. so do you think the new th movie there's a lot to think about this movie, but I feel like there could have been more, if you know what I'm saying. So do you think the new movies are just only going to be on Cybertron, or do you think they'll instantly cash out and put them on Earth? <laughs> cash out? <laughs> well, yeah, like, what do you go after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's down after that? I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest. Because, uh the animation style does benefit from it being this kind of alien world that you can't do in live action. What about Action Man? True. Hey, don't worry, Hat Rod. I know a guy. I mean, I know a man. Alan Man, the Action Man. The Action Man. No one's going to get that. Time to amp it up, Hat Rod. Put the title so you call it a big jump scare really quickly, you know? Uh-huh. It's funny because they're setting all these people up and I'm looking at them going, they're going to get met and merked by G.I. Joe. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, we're ending this, we're ending this. And now, just just before we forget. Hold on, come here, come here. For Transformers Bingo, let's see here. Uh, he didn't lose his voice. No. Nope. He didn't say, he's right behind me. No off -road. Oh, bro, no, he wasn't. A... Off they mentioned him, bro. Off-road wasn't in it. He was! Stop gaslighting oh, me. Oh, I know. Central Prime does get beheaded by ISIS. Yes. Lots of glob shittles. Mm-hmm. Shia LaBeouf was not no. in there. Megatron does look to the camera and say I'm going to turn ah, you off. Um, sex scene. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, we can't not. That was like odd for us. Uh, so we get four. Yeah, what well, movie is called Dog Shot? There we go. Bingo. 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 Step, state. Step, state, state, state. Transformers 2. Starring. 
Street Fighter 2.